all right guys easy coding is back today we will set up the tcl and ssl certification and localhost and um, i assume everyone in here like you know you know what is the ssl certification and what is the purpose of it um, in part one which is in this video we will focusing on the client side uh, we are gonna, we are not gonna touch anything with server side. Um, also, we're gonna build the two project in this video um, from scratch. One of them React project and Angular project as well. And then we're gonna complete the SSL certification on it. Um, absolutely, in this in the current side, you know, most of the uh, enterprise project, you know. They're using open SSL um, so um, yeah let's get it started so um, we're gonna type angular CLI and then click the official link I'm gonna go to setup and there is like a few command to create a project let's copy this command and go to terminal So um, in this project, we do not use any routing. I use CSS. It take um, a minute or so to download all the node packages. Then we're gonna go to the project CD my app and then in the self. Oh, so I'm using um, 400 uh, 4200 port in the, in the another application. So we're gonna do dash dash port 42. Zero one. The server, um, Angular server, is up and running. So we're gonna check it out. So it's up and running. We will open the project on the um, piece code. And then we're gonna click on Command J to open the terminal. So we will create a file in the root folder called certificate.cnf. So we're going to copy that, new file, so I will leave the config down below so you can copy and paste. And feel free to change some stuff in here like uh, the state or the country. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to save it. And then run this command line. Um, as I said previously, uh, um, we're using OpenSSL. So 
so um, two files it's created by default from the command line from OpenSSL now we will do ng serve dash dash SSL so we did some mistake we're gonna do dash 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 port for two zero one up and running go to HPS so we're gonna add s So we're gonna face like you know privacy things just click on visit this website add your credential if you have one so yeah um, as you see in the top uh, we have lock icon with HTTPS so we're gonna do something with react for quick what we're gonna do is go to uh, uh, react CLI click on the official oops I have it in Arabic scroll down you're gonna see the command line just copy gonna go desktop oh so actually we had the same name so we're gonna do react should be fine right now also takes a few minutes to finish and download all the node packages so um, it's gonna be the same steps um, but I just wanna you know show you guys that you can use open SSL certification in, 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 in both angular angular and react project so but there is a lot of bit different um, I will show you right now then go to CD my app react we're gonna do mbm start here so we're gonna make sure we have the react project up running we're gonna use again if is code we're gonna do the same steps we're gonna create a file in the root folder and then copy the configuration save the file and then run the open SSL command line So you should see two folder created. So um, the extra step in React project is go to package.json. Scroll down, you're going to see um, under scripts. So in here, just type HTTPS equal to save the file and then run mbm start so when I refresh this page it's not gonna 
show up because we have integrate the open SSL we're gonna add the HTTPS privacy things visit website click on visit website and yeah so we have HTTPS and we have the lock icon as well so this is the how to set up the SSL in the client side um, react project and angular project the same things and uh, in next video we will set up the SSL on the spring boot framework in the in the server side so stay soon thanks guys for watching